yesterday i have been started with your second part of the fourth unit that is java io classes what you mean by the io classes and what are the different types of stream classes you are going to have you have seen there are two types of stream classes one is called as input stream class and another one is called as output stream class wait input and output stream classes will be defining with sub classes called as byte stream class as well as class uh, character streams yesterday you have been worked with what actually meant by byte streams byte streams means it is used to input or read or write the eight byte bit of bytes of values okay so it is going to read many eight bit bytes of information to the one file to the another file or one information to the another information like that we here also are going to go for character streams where it is also used like a java streams where it is going to read and write for 16 bit of unique code unique code means information which is set in a form of a unified way though there are many classes related to the character streams but the most frequently used classes are file reader and file writer over there you are going to have file input stream file output stream okay file input stream and output streams are used for byte streams file reader and file writer are used for character streams okay so though internally file reader uses as a file internal input stream and file writer uses the file output stream but here the main difference is that major difference is that uh, file reader reads two bytes at a time and file reader writes two bytes at a time in the byte stream it is going to read and write only one byte at a time but here it is going to read two bytes because it is 16 bit of code that is the difference you are going to have between byte streams as well as character streams keep in the mind file input stream reads in the byte stream for one byte at a time okay and here in character streams it is going to read two bytes at a time for reading purpose writing purpose file output stream writes one byte at a time in byte streams and here it is going to write for two bytes at a time so that is the difference you are going to have we shall go with a simple example same thing is there just wherever there is an file input stream input stream is there you just write file reader for reading purpose and file write file output stream you are going to write with file writer hmm? we will be going with the simple statements here once again you are going to have with public class uh, copy file public static void domain within a bracket string ergs if is there any system problem then ultimately it is going to store for throw for a class called as io exception okay file reader in is equal to null and file writer out is equal to null so these are two different types of classes which are used for character streams okay and once again you are writing within a try if file file is not found or file is having error at that time we can't stop the problem program or a problem or running execution execution of a program could not be stopped very normally so to stop that one in a normal position we are going to use with a try statement i am going to use a object called as in is equal to new file reader which is going to open input.txt so input.txt and output.txt should be present before only input.txt and output.txt should be present before only then only you can open in a file reader and file um, writer to represent in and out statements okay then in c while c is equal to in dot read line not equals to null means what this condition is going to do it is going to do read the information from the uh, file reader of input text input dot text until it reaches to the last character we can't check here null because we don't know where it could be the null minus one it doesn't means it is equal to the null value until unless whatever the characters you are going to take whatever the informations you are going to take those all the things will be stored within the out out means output file hmm? okay then this is what we are going to have when the file is present input and output file are present and you are read and written okay finally 
you should have to close those things when it is equals to null when it is not equals to null in dot close out dot is not equals to null out, out dot close okay because why we should have to close the files when they are opened because of only there should not be any abnormal or a garbage value should be stored. waste means whenever you are using whenever you are executing any files you no know, at that time the informations will be uh, unwanted information or characters will be flowing from one end to the other end those should not be stored for that sake we are going to use with close statement okay so we'll be going with the next statement that is called as standard trims streams here you are going to have with three different types of standard trims one is called as input output and error these are the three different types of standard input uh, sorry standard streams to define your java programming language all the programming languages provide support for standard input and output where the user's program can take input from a keyboard and then produce an output on the computer screen if you are aware of c or c++ programming languages then you must be aware of three standard devices called as standard in out and error similarly similarly java provides the following three standard streams here standard in means reading the information from the user standard out means writing the information to the user okay so you can see what are the different types of standard streams within java programming language standard input this is used to feed or read the data to users program and usually through a keyboard is used as a usually a keyboard is used for a standard input stream and represents it as system dot in whenever a program is defined with anything called as system dot in means you are reading the information okay whenever there is a part when you wanted to read any information at that position you are going with system dot in means what you are reading for the program standard output this is used to output the data produced by the user's program and usually a computer screen is used for the standard output stream and represented as system dot out system dot in is used for reading the user data like that way system dot out is used for defining the data in your c programming language for reading purpose you are directly using the function m called as what what you want to use you will be using with scanf and that scanf will be accessed by your uh, header file called as stdio.io.h is it right there is a peculiar header file to define this one here there are no header file so for that sake you are going to define with a um, class files or classes over here system dot out class object value then this is uh, next one you are going to have with a standard error this is used to output the error data produced by the user's program and usually a computer screen is used for um, standard error st stream and represented as system dot error so what you are going to have here now you will be having with a statement called as whenever there is a error when you are going to get errors when either you are going to compile the program at that position you are going to get the error or when you are going to display the information on the screen you are going to have the errors okay these are the two different types of a standard errors you are going to get over here okay so these are the three different types of stream classes these are the what three different types of stream classes for defining a, 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 a java programming statements okay so you shall have a simple example over here how actually this particular example is going to execute hmm? so you're going to have a class name called as read uh, read console public static y admin which is going to throw the io exception input stream reader this is a class name which is going to create an object called as c in is equal to null because it should have to start with nothing and it is going to store the information within that one so c in is equals to new input stream reader so you are reading now through the information called as system dot in so through the keyboard this particular statement system dot in which is used to read the information from the keyboard and stores within the object then okay? so system dot print len and enter characters q2 quit q2 quit means 
it is going to say e, uh, instead of uh, like um, typing q if you want to type anything it is going to accept if you want to specify q means it is going to come outside okay then c character c c is equals to char c in dot read so this particular statement is used to read the information from you okay this is what this particular thing is used for reading the information you for example i am going to enter one now one is stored and it is going to display for you so while one is not equals to q yes 100 percent one is not equals to q the condition turns to be there and i'm going to enter one second one here so it will be displaying so you are having two ones here so one is not equals to q yes 100 percent it is not equals to q go over there e i'm going to press with what now e e is going to be there and it is going to display for you and e is not equals to q yes 100 percent e is not equals to q go over there and i'm going to enter once again e System dot dot print a C e. e is displayed. Then I'm going to go for next time Q. Q is going to be displayed while Q is not equals to Q. Yes, it is equals to Q. So for that sake, the condition will be stopped here and you are going to come outside and find within the finally you are going to write with what the statements here. So you have been used with system dot in like that we here also you are going to use with system dot out also. How? When you are using any system dot out, then you should have to write here output stream reader writer. Okay, input stream reader is used for reading information, and output stream writer is used for uh, displaying the information for the users. Okay, so I'll be stopping here itself the class. Rest other things we shall see tomorrow. Thank you.